Hi, in this video I will show you how to install a Linux Ubuntu. The first thing I would like you to know is about the boot menu key. Just simply search on internet, for example, the boot menu key for Asus, for Lenovo, for Acer, for MSI, NZXT and pretty much your vendor, which is the logo that you see on your screen when you power on your computer. By the way, once you know your boot menu key, we can proceed to download the ISO file image. In this case, we are going to download the latest one, which is Ubuntu 24.10. Just simply click on this green button and wait to finish downloading the ISO file image. The next step is to download Rufus to flash our file inside the, the USB stick. Make sure this USB stick is not personal because this program is going to delete everything on that USB stick and there is going to be only the stuff for the installation of Ubuntu. Make sure to download Rufus portable or if you want standard. In this case I want to use the portable one and let's wait for the Ubuntu file to finish download and we can proceed forward. Anyways, now let's open Rufus and make sure to insert your USB stick. Once you insert your USB stick, you should here have like a name, a label or something like this with your USB stick capacity. In this case, my is 8 gigabytes. Anyways, now select the ISO file image in, I don't know, downloads in my case. Just open it and here you can choose either to make it MBR or GPT. GPT is for UFI only or MBR is for BIOS or UFI. Ah, if you want to use GPT, make sure your computer has a UFI BIOS. To check it, just, just type in the search box of Windows system information. Just open this program and check in BIOS mode if it's UFI or something else. If it's something else then use MBR. In this case my is UFI so I'm going to use GPT. Now just click on start, accept all the warnings and just wait a few minutes or seconds and let's proceed forward. Anyways, it finally done the flashing process, so we can finally proceed with the next step is to shrink some space for Ubuntu. These the, are the requirements for Ubuntu. As you can see, it needs at least one gig of RAM, which is actually not anymore the case. By the way, it needs at least 25 gigabytes of storage. In this case, you could just search on your search box, create and format hard disk. Anyways, this is the program. Just open it, select your partition. In this case, this is mine going to shrink the volume 64 gigabytes of storage so i can type uh, 64000 megabytes and shrink it and just leave it plus minus 64 62 63 by the way if you are dealing with some problems and cannot shrink the partition or for enough for example you have like 64 gigabytes or 30 and you cannot shrink like for 25 gigabytes or something like this you can use for example this program right here just free download then just install it and just open it make sure to choose your main partition in this case this is the partition i want to shrink just click here on resize move partition it asks me for to turn off my device encryption let's click on yes turn off I just a thing about the detection of your data if someone I don't know a hacker steals your hard drive and they have to decrypt it and it's kind of mess for him for them to, to steal your data and um, yeah that's kind of the process anyways he finally decrypted my disk so now inside the program even the program did detected it anyways now just simply now just select your partition which is the which is this one for me just click on uh, resize move partition and here you can move this 
slider right here and pretty much do like this or if you want you can uh, type here how many gigabytes you will have later for your windows partition 70 gigabytes let's do 00, 0 let's see 80 gigabytes Mm, yeah something like this yeah this is you can also to choose looks like this allow partition al alignment to optimize the performance of ssd let's do this one and um, yeah this, this is fine anyways just click on ok click on apply click on proceed then make sure to leave it on windows pm mode here click on ok and it's going to make here yeah, really quickly just make sure to wait here yeah, like a few minutes and you're good to go anyways you are going to have this really really weird uh, boot which is the windows pf you can have this really weird screen right here which shows the program uh, what it's doing and you can see this resizing the partition correctly just wait patiently and everything will be fine this it did done it really quickly for me just click on restart now and if you go inside the program create and format the disks as you can see it got shrinked successfully so now we can proceed with the installation of ubuntu so make sure to shut down your computer and let's go forward so power on your computer and for me is the f12 key and here make sure to select your usb stick which could have like this really weird name like input light and something like this just make sure to select it with the arrows of your keyboard and click on enter and going to have the screen you can choose the try or install ubuntu or if you have any problems with the graphics something is wrong and uh, just make sure to choose ubuntu instead anyways we're going to choose try or install ubuntu and here we go make sure to choose your language in this case english for me click on next uh, you can choose here some options anyways i don't want this part so let's go click on next choose your uh, keyboard in this case i want to try the italian in this case i have the italian one so i'm going to choose the italian one so click on next if you have a wi-fi just just choose your wi-fi or if not just leave it on use wired connection or if you don't have you can also choose this option by the way i have internet so let's use this one click on next try or install it of course we want to install it so let's click on install it uh, interactive installation uh, if you want to have like some apps office tools just as right here it says you can choose the extended or just the necessary the essential the internet and stuff like this just choose on default click on next i really recommend to check these two options click on next in this case uh, if you want to only have ubuntu on the system you can choose to erase the disk and install only ubuntu by the way if you want to have a dual boot you can choose this option by the way for security reasons i'm going to choose the manual installation so click on next and you are going to have this a lot of partitions and really weird stuff in this case i have an uh, nvme ssd so this is my name this is the name of my partition and disk just simply select the free space one with the gigabytes you did shrink inside windows so make sure to click on the free space one and click on the plus button you can leave it as xt4 or if you want brtfs anyways i'm going to leave it as xt4 choose a mount point choose the slash this one which is the root just make sure to choose this one you can also to make it a, bit, a little bit smaller i don't know you could do like 64 128 for example and then click on ok you're going to have a 5 gigabytes free partition click on the plus icon and you can choose use it as swap swap is a partition that is going to be used as a as ram 
So practically if your computer doesn't have like a lot of memory, for example, you have four gigabytes of memory, you can choose this option and the going to use your internal storage as the RAM, the only these five gigabytes. So let's use this one as WAP and click on OK. And we are done. Now click on next your name and you can do something like this and click on next uh, choose your time zone then click on next it's going automatically to detect your boot partition so don't worry about it and click on install and just wait about 20 minutes maybe 20 minutes 30 minutes i don't know you need to wait about time it's required to actually install ubuntu by the way i think for me it's going to be like 10 or 20 minutes and just simply wait and everything will be fine it's going to ask you for a reboot after you reboot you are going to have a screen like this you have here some options always with your arrows and enter key you can choose to, to windows if you wish or any other operating system or to boot with ubuntu or if you have any problems you can go into the recovery mode if you know what you're doing or simply just just choose ubuntu and you are good to go and as you can see it did boot successfully and here we go we are finally inside ubuntu 24.10 ah oh, this is the new welcome screen just click on next uh, next next and boom we are here and it's Solid. you can do whatever you want play games watch new movies or whatever you want by the way i actually recommend to do some software updates before actually doing something plus authentication stuff for example it has to update some really important stuff like remove some all the stuff and some system components just install it write the password wait a little bit it can ask you for restart, restart, the way you can also watch beautiful videos, you can also play really beautiful games like, I don't know, like Roblox if you wish. Of course, if you want and can, you can also play games as Bemji Drive and many others as much as your computer is actually pretty powerful. You can see it's actually a very beautiful experience. And of course, if you need, you can also be a really good developer and develop your programs, websites and many other programs because it's a operating system made pretty much for everything and everyone. By the way, let me now show you how to uninstall Ubuntu. Uh, the process is actually very easy. Open the create and format hard disk partition program. Make sure to select your or more partitions of Ubuntu that you made. For example, let me delete this one. Yes. And also this one. Then click on extend volume. Click on next. And here we go. We did the first part. The next part is to delete it from the UFI or FE boot entries. Um, search in the search box of Windows, TMD, run as administrator, type disk part, type list disk, type cell disk zero. For me is disk zero, anyways, the one, the disk uh, where you choose the, to install Ubuntu. For me is disk zero. Type list par which is this partition type select or cell partition one uh, you have to practically type this number right here where it says system in this case for me is partition one system and normally this partition weights 100 megabytes for someone it could be like 200 and stuff like this but for me it's system and this partition one so i'm going to type cell part one select partition one anyways you hit enter and the type assign letter equals s type exit and the type s colon i'll write dir write cd fim dir we have to remove um, ubuntu from this list so type rm dir slash s slash q ubuntu let's type uh, dir again and it's gone you can type exit 
to close the terminal and like this you did eliminate the Ubuntu successfully from your system anyways thank you for watching this video make sure to leave a beautiful like to subscribe to my channel and if you wish leave me a beautiful comment for some moral support anyways i really thank you a lot for your time and attention by the way i think it's time to say goodbye i wish you a really great day goodbye